An idea from two graduate students at Case Western Reserve University in Ohio could revolutionize treatments for people with broken and injured spinal cords. Their mentor, decorated neuroscience professor Jerry Silver, admits he originally thought the student's idea was far-fetched. It all comes down to scar tissue, which surrounds an injury in the body. Sugary proteins released by the scar tissue make a type of glue that discourages nerve cells from growing. One scientist likened the proteins to flypaper that traps the nerve cells. If the nerve cells don't grow back, people often face paralysis below the injury and a loss of urinary and genital control. But the graduate students at Case Western designed a compound that helps the nerve cells avoid the sticky trap of the sugary proteins. They injected it into rats with spinal injuries. A whopping 80% of the rats injected displayed bladder control improvement, movement improvement, or both, according to the study, which was published in Nature. It's important to remember that all of the rats in the study were new newly injured, so the compound might not work as well on older injuries. But those rats who responded, responded well. Professor Silver told the BBC, what we could see was really remarkable. Some recovered to a fantastic extent and so well you could hardly tell there was an injury. Current recovery methods for broken and damaged spines are mainly invasive surgeries, usually in the form of nerve transplants, stem cell injections, and neurostimulator implants. This treatment would be less invasive with potentially higher efficacy. Researchers say they'll try the compound on larger animals like pigs next, before human trials begin. For Newsy, I'm Rosie Newberry.